vanilla or spice, no chocolate or rice. These are real Grindr profiles that were online. I've blocked more Asians than the Great Wall of China. Don't ask what I'm looking for, no Orientals. White and Latinos plus, not into other Asians. I'm white and attractive, sorry if you're anything less, you're not worth it. My name is Shady Orr and I'm from Vancouver. When I started drag in Vancouver, I noticed that there was a lot of like white queens performing around me and when I looked in the audience, it was still mostly a white audience. Queer Asians are already kind of uncomfortable with their own queerness. So going to a, like a gay club in itself is already pushing their comfort zone. Seeing drag might be even further out of their comfort zone. It's why I strive for visibility with the creation community. Rice Cake is a queer and Asian dance party. It's the event that I organize. When people are at a rice cake party, I just want them to feel like pure joy. Is someone heckling me? Heckle me more. I love the attention. <laughs> My name is Shady R, and I am the creator of Rice Cake, and I'm happy to see you all here. We got a really hot show for you tonight, and I'm just gonna get on with it. I've received a lot of feedback from people that have come to Rice Cake and said they didn't know that this was something that they wanted, but it was something that they needed. I love making people happy and like connecting good people with good people. I just want to provide inspiration for other queer Asians to see people like them and to know that they are able to be queer and able to explore themselves. I'm feeling great. Um, Rice cake is popping off. It seems like it's, it's really busy tonight. When I was growing up and watching all these like movies and shows and I always found that the villain is like always a really cool aesthetic. But it's always like a lot of them are more misunderstood. I like to joke around that my aesthetic is like an anime villain character now. Going into playing with this darker side of makeup and looks and like outfits and stuff is just a way for me to like showcase contrast on my actual personality and be unapologetically Asian and just focus on decorating that rather than covering it up. It made me a lot more comfortable with my drag. So yes, I told my mom three weeks ago at Danny's. Um, I don't know where that came from. I was like... Sometimes sometimes it's like you finally feel that it's time and you just do it. I know. It I didn't plan... Like, when I, I called my mom, I didn't plan it. I literally... We were grocery exactly. shopping and I was like, I think this is the time. I'm so glad. I'm like one of the house of rice. I agree so much. Like, I don't know what you say. <laughs> my makeup's gonna run. <laughs> I, I love just you. fixed your makeup. <laughs> You've been practicing. <laughs> mm. Love you so much. But yeah, I think everything will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just give them time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Love you, babe. Love you, mom. In the queer community, the drag family is your chosen family that takes you in and takes care of you and makes sure that you survive in the world. House of Rice, I summon you. <laughs> the House of Rice is the only all Asian drag family in Vancouver. It is at nine members now, including me. <laughs> I've had eight kids. My daughters, Valak and Nikita, 
they are from mainland China. Anything gay is censored over in China. Their parents would be not okay whatsoever with anything that they're doing. It hurts me to think about that. But at the same time, like, if I had never done rice cake, if I had never brought them into the house of rice, they might have just led this very straight, narrow-minded life. And not being able to see the magic that they have in themselves. We all have this common goal of working towards a future for the queer Asians. I want to amass an army of queer Asian performers <laughs> to take over the world. <laughs>